you look around at commercial real estate firms in your marketplace and beyond, local, regional, national, you'll have no trouble ascertaining what each of these firms say that they do and how they say they do it. Call it the what, call it the how. Take a look at their websites, collateral material, or better yet, interview their leaders or brokers, and here's what I think you'll find. Every commercial real estate brokerage, every company on the planet will be able to articulate some semblance of their differentiating value proposition, how they do what they do. Here's the cool thing, though. Despite the fact that every broker and every company in the world can tell you what they do, and most can tell you how they do it, very few, in fact, only the elite can inspire clients and customers to want to work with them, to want to work for them. These are the companies who know and exude why they do what they do. Why do you do what you do is a good question to ask yourself. Why do you work for Sperry Vaness or wherever you work? And if the first answer that pops in your head is to make a profit or to support your family, I would say that that's a result. To find out why, one needs to ask himself or herself, what's my purpose, my cause, my set of beliefs? Why do I work for Sperry Vaness? Why do I get out of bed in the morning? And why should anyone care? What's my passion? My why? Now, I'm a big of Simon Sinek's work. This concept is not my own. Has anyone heard of Simon? Okay. That makes it a better presentation because it appears as if it's an original thought. I could have left out Simon Sinek and it would have gone over much better, but that, would have, that wouldn't have been right. Uh, Simon Sinek wrote an inspiring book called Start With Why. Start With Why, and his theories fit hand in glove with the culture and value proposition of Sperry Van Ness. Simply put, he suggests that all organizations and careers function on three levels. What you do, how you do it, and why you do it. Most businesses and their employees, he says, don't know that why exists. And that's certainly the case with the brokers who work for some of the national brokerages in our industry. And they build their businesses around the outside of the circle, the what and how, failing to consider that the why is the most important aspect of inspiring constituencies in winning our business. I'll give you a few examples. Why is it? that the Wright brothers were able to figure out control-powered man flight when there were certainly other research teams better qualified, or so it seemed, more known, better funded, but yet the Wright brothers beat them to it. Here's why. The most talented engineers at the time joined the Wright brothers over larger and better funded research teams because they believed in their cause. Why is Apple Computer so innovative. Year after year after year, they're more innovative than their competition. Because they start with why. And the most talented and creative people on the planet are inspired to work with Apple because they believe in Apple's cause. You see, people don't buy Apple products because of what they do. They buy Apple because of why they do it. And that's precisely the way the advisors of SVN op operate their businesses structure their practices. It's how I run the company. The why is the reason why SVN is the most different company in commercial real estate. And at the end of the day, folks, having this value proposition is the sharpest of arrows in your quiver. Some company history. Uh, and in essence, I guess it's our brand manifesto. There are a select few companies that have built their businesses and reputations by constantly innovating. Apple Computer I talked about a minute ago. Zappos, has anyone bought shoes from Zappos? Mm -hmm. <laughs> One guy, <laughs> you bought shoes from Zappos? Well, that's great, I buy them too. No, it's just <laughs> more power to you, it's a great company. You have your own examples. In every case, these are brands that looked at their category and decided that there was a better way to go to market. And so they innovated. Not innovating just to be different, but innovation that delivered added value to its customers. In 1987, Mark Van Ness and Rand Sperry founded SVN in Orange County, California. And since, Sperry Van Ness has approached the commercial real estate business in exactly the same way. In a business known for its self-centered competitiveness, non-cooperation, no fee sharing on investment sales transactions, Mark and Rand built a business model on a very simple premise. They committed to a completely customer-centric perspective, breaking the rules of the broker establishment in the process with a process that ensures that the client's interests are always 
place first because it was the right way for investment sales to be consummated. And they believed passionately in that. They developed a policy of sharing all of our listings with competitive brokers so that the broadest market possible works on behalf of every Sperry Van Ness client. Even more radical than sharing listings, commissions are shared 50-50, 100% of the time, no exceptions with the entire brokerage community. When we opened for business, this was an unheard of idea. So in an industry known for its secretive and sort of selfish approach, which is what it is, to marketing properties, we focused our efforts on marketing and identifying competitive brokers and marketing our properties to them because we recognize that the distribution channel in our industry is the entire brokerage community, not any one broker or brokerage. And so this has been our consistent strategy, not one that we adopted when it suits our needs, but simply because we passionately believe that this is the way it should be because we're committed to making the dysfunctional commercial real estate market more efficient and it's because it's the right thing to do. Here's the deal, in a nutshell. The commercial real estate business is one of the most disorganized, dysfunctional, and inefficient industries in existence. In an industry, mind you, with no standard of uniting buyer and seller marketing of properties, LoopNet, CoStar, they're worthy causes, but the business has no industry standard to unite buyers and sellers in the marketing of properties. Historically, as you know, you've been squeezed, most investment sales listings are marketed with no fee being offered to the outside broker, to the buy side broker, right? Even in today's difficult market, most brokers and most firms still seek to find the buyer on their own. They're still doing that to receive 100% of the fee versus half, which would be the case if they shared fees with other brokers. The problem with that approach, I know that this is intuitive to you, but it'll It'll, it'll help if you hear it again. No one broker knows all the potential buyers. You can't. It's impossible. It's 100,000 of them out there. No one firm knows them all. Brokers control relationships with buyers. No one firm has any significant market share in the United States. In fact, the top five firms combined, you know who they are, CB, JLL, et cetera, combined for a measly 20% market share. This is in number of brokers and in fees paid to them, commissions earned. Even if you could hire each of the top five firms to market your property, you'd still be missing out on up to 80% of the brokerage community and perhaps multiple offers and your seller, your client, would be leaving money on the table. This is a common approach. It's clearly in the broker's best interest, but it's dead wrong for the seller. It's bad for the market. It discourages competition for an asset. The more brokers you market to, the more buyers you'll reach. The more offers you'll generate, and the better the result. It's in the client's best interests. The map in front of you shows the web of connectivity that exists at SVN. Our advisors are seamlessly connected with technology. You'll see that on Friday. And more importantly, with a set of clients' first beliefs and 10 SVN core covenants, which guide everything advisors do with and for SVN and their clients.